Now that you've added some styling to your portal, it's time to add your own content. By default, we have some sample dashboards from Tableau Public included, but more than likely, these are not what you want to display on your portal. To do so, log back into the backend area so that we can start configuring your portal. When you get there, click the content tab. The content tab is where you configure basically everything as far as content and display goes on the portal. The content tab allows you to set up navigation items, reorder those, set up dashboards, static pages, upload files, and even some more advanced options. To start with, let's go to the dashboards area. The dashboards area is where you obviously connect to your Tableau dashboards. To start with, I'm going to delete out all of these test dashboards. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of my own. To do so, I click the new dashboard link. And then I simply select the dashboard from a drop down list of available dashboards on my Tableau server. Once I've done this, you'll notice the form below does pre populate. This has information about the title that I want for my dashboard, the URL of the dashboard on Tableau server, and the URL that I want for it in the portal. I can toggle on or off whether or not to show tabs with this dashboard, as well as whether or not to create a menu link for this dashboard by default. Usually, you want to create a menu link but sometimes you want dashboards that are only accessible if the user directly hits them in the browser via a URL instead of being included in your navigation. This can be used for drill downs or dashboards that are linked to from other dashboards. A miscellaneous tab allows us to select filters and parameters that are included on this dashboard. You can also select tutorials or you can include here search keywords if you're using our search functionality. The thumbnail image is automatically pre-populated when you save this dashboard, but if you wanted to override it with some kind of marketing imagery for whatever reason, feel free to do so here. You can also feature this dashboard or completely hide this dashboard except through direct links if you'd like. Scrolling up to the advanced tab, you're able to do a lot of more advanced functionality in here as well. This allows you to do things like override the dashboard when a user is in a mobile device, or specify alternate links for CSV or PDF exports, and a lot of different other functionality as well. I definitely recommend that you check out our backend user guide by simply clicking the documentation link at the top of your portal to explore these more before you actually use these options.